Okay, so I figured I'd make a quick video here on um, a quick fix for your American Standard Spectra Versa shower head. So you can see we have both the rain pan and the handheld. Really like the unit, um, but what we noticed is after about a month, this diverter valve right here starts sticking. And once it sticks, it won't let you turn the handheld unit on and off. So I actually originally called American Standard and said, hey, you know, I just bought this a month ago, you know, and these things are not cheap. So I was obviously not happy that it was not working after a month. And they, I thought they would send me a diverter valve. Well, in turn, they said, well, the diverter valve itself is back ordered. We will just send you a whole new unit which to their credit they did they sent me a brand new unit um, i tore the old one off put the new one on ran about a month and i'm right back to where i started with the diverter valve um, not working again so it's a little frustrating to have spent that much money on on such a nice nice piece of uh, hardware and have this obviously to me it seems like there must be a little bit of a design flaw that this is happening on multiple units but i'm going to show you how to fix it um, and what you want to do, if you want to turn this, you can hear it snapping a little bit until you see a very small slit. It's really difficult to see in there, but there is a very small slit that you can fit a uh, flathead screwdriver in. And when you do, you can just pop that. Whoops, I meant to grab that. But you can see that this little diverter button just pops off and there's just uh, little teeth holding it on. So what you end up with then is you can see the actual plate that holds the diverter valve inside. So what we should be able to do is take this screw out and we should be able to pull the diverter valve out and then put a little bit of silicone grease on there and it should be back to working exactly like um, new. So let me see if I can do this one handed. This is a little difficult. Um, all right, so got the screw out. <clears throat> get this little plate part out. I may end up having to go get a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm thinking I will. Nope, oh, there comes the spring. And there comes the cap or the retainer. We'll set those right there. And the valve itself, you can see, this is what's sticking. So, um, actually, not sure I'm going to be able to get it done with what I have here. I think I'm going to have to go get a pair of needle nose pliers. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back with my uh, needle nose pliers here. And I'll show you what I did. You can see there's three holes in there. So what you're going to want to do is get those needle nose pliers in there into two of the holes and then go ahead and spin this disc and you'll keep spinning this disc until you get it to completely unthread and then it comes out and what you'll want to do is set that aside <clears throat> now the next thing is you want to pull this diverter valve out this diverter valve is pretty darn tricky to get out it is um, it sticks in there pretty good so the easiest trick that I saw to do or thought to do was to take and screw in this screw right here <clears throat> and then take your needle nose pliers put them behind the screw clamp them down this uh, pretty good and then use the needle nose prior pliers to gently pry this valve out and when you do it'll kind of release and then it will pop out and uh, it'll pop out and there's probably going to be some water and stuff that'll come out so be aware if you're in your socks you're going to you're going to get wet. Luckily, I have my shoes on, so I'm good. But you can see here's the diverter valve. And where, where I'm seeing the problem is as you push the end of this, you can see that inner um, O-ring right there. And that inner O-ring on is what's sticking. You can almost even see it. See how it's not releasing back like it should. So that's where the problem is. And what I did is I used a piece of... Um, very piece of uh, paper towel and then I also got a couple q-tips and I uh, cleaned that up 
as as much as I can. I'm going to clean it up a little bit more. Um, and then I'm actually going to spray it with some spray silicone first, some uh, out of a can, and then I'll go back and put some grease back on there. And then you just uh, do all your steps in reverse. So you'll put this back in and then you'll screw that plate back in, that threaded plate, and then put your spring and then the plastic piece that's down there and then pop your button back on, you should be good to go. So I don't see why you should have to replace this valve. It's not that the valve is not functioning, it's just sticking. So my guess is I'm just every month or so, I'm gonna have to pull this out and clean it up once I notice it's starting to stick, which is pretty annoying to have spent that much money on on the, um, a shower faucet and then have to do that. But I can't see how replacing this diverter valve itself is going to do anything, being that I've, I've already had two and it's and they're still both doing the same thing. Okay, just figured I'd show you a real quick clip. I got it all put back together. Um, one of the things that I did do is when I was pushing on the end of that valve when I showed you in, the, in just a second ago, you could see that the the plunger that was inside of that valve was kind of sticking. So I did clean that up, like I said, with real, uh, real good with Q-tips as best I could. And then I used spray silicone and I sprayed silicone um, out of a can and sprayed it on there, worked it back and forth, sprayed it on there, kept working, kept working, kept working, kept working until I got it completely freed up and probably functioning better than it ever did from the factory. Once I did that, I then put on silicone grease on the O-rings on the outside, and then a little bit of the O-ring, um, a little bit of grease on that O-ring that was on that plunger that worked up and down. So this is my first run here, but it should be, everything should be functioning the way that we want it. Obviously you can see the rain pan's working now. Hit the valve. The uh, handheld's working. And when you hit the valve again, they're both working so um, it did take me um, a little bit of working that valve back and forth with the uh, spray silicone to really get it loosened up it didn't work the first couple times I did it I just kept working it working it working back and forth it probably took about five minutes of spraying it with silicone and working that valve up and down um, the plunger inside that valve to get it to really operate smoothly and it's actually working better now than it ever did It always kind of stuck before even when it was new. So um, Figured I would just show you a quick clip. All right. Thanks for watching